What is going on you guys? My name is Rage and we are back today with a legendary preparation video guide here for you all. So in today's video, uh, we're really talking about the upcoming Green Goblin Classic Legendary event, um, how we're going to best prepare as well as my game plan overall of how I'm going to proceed with this. Now keep in mind guys, um, you know, we got confirmation that Rebirth and as well as New Avengers are the required teams, but so far nothing yet that's officially confirmed, but the data mines say otherwise that there are a couple teams now that we can have visibility over. Now, if you guys are cautious and wanting to wait until it's officially confirmed, I would do that. But uh, typically with these data mines, um, you know, we, we've seen that they have some valid accuracy to them, especially uh, if multiple sources have already um, confirmed it as well. So um, take this uh, information with a grain of salt. Obviously, with the event just being around the corner here, um, it doesn't hurt to wait as well. But I'll show you guys at least what I'm doing uh, in the meantime. Now, uh, what did we learn from both the Nova and Black Cat trials? I made a video on this before, and I'll link in the description below if you guys are interested in watching the full. But, I mean, um, this gives us a really good information in terms of what kind of team levels we can expect, uh, but as well as the meta teams that were relevant, that, that had value when we were able to get through it. So, for example, um, going through the unlock of Nova, we utilized Masters of Evil, uh, buffed up by the war. Uh, benefits obviously there and you can see there um oh excuse me the cosmic cruise will benefit and as you can see my 780k team uh, was able to rank a 1.35 million point score at difficulty eight uh getting nine nodes done because we left the last node and we just couldn't get the job done but from this cluster uh and makeup team we had four characters at gear tier 15 and then we had kang himself fully uh pushed up all the way to gear tier 18 uh, really it was Kang completely dominating and carrying this this team right so uh, as you can see we even got away with this low of a level uh, at gear tier 15 um, with these characters uh, even at difficulty 8 but keep in mind too um, difficulty 8 now for this setting going forward for Green Goblin requires both new Avengers and as well as uh, the rebirth team uh, being fully leveled up for myself I actually have zero interest in building up new Avengers uh, for the sake of resources um, being free to play. I, I, I figure that this is the best decision for my account. I don't want to be pouring resources into a team that, to be quite honest, I'm not interested in. And as well, is it's not a game priority for myself. So difficulty seven is as high as I'm going with as many packs as I can um, to fully push my points. So ideally, if I can get a sense of what's happening with difficulty eight here from my previous success, uh, that's going to be how I'm building up these teams. Now, moving on to the Black Cat trial event here, which is on the bottom utilizing nowhere. Um, this was about a 770k team and they ranked up 1.6 million because we were able to actually fully clear. Uh, this team is a little stronger than my uh, my Masters of Evil just because of the fact that they actually had more of these gear tier 16 characters. So you can see three of them being 16 and two of them being 15. It was more of a balanced team approach as opposed to what, what Kang was doing with, uh, with the Nova trials where he basically carried the entire Masters of Evil team. So as you can see, uh, this is kind of the range we want to be aiming for. If you guys want to full clear difficulty seven with quite ease, uh, with many packs activated, I think I'm going to be aiming for this, you know, 700 to 800 K mark. Uh, that's how high I'm going to be building up my teams as well. Um, ideally, uh, gear tier 15 and gear tier 16 should be the highest you, you want to go. Um, even better if they're higher. But again, guys, keep in mind context. Uh, I'm building up only to uh, difficulty seven. So it doesn't really matter for me if, um, if I don't have the new Avengers built up. My game plan will be unlocking Green Goblin and capitalizing on as high as I can uh, in difficulty seven. Now, having said that, with this confirmation, um, like I said, there's a couple of teams that have been officially data mined um, that we, that gives us, uh, you know, points us in the right direction of what teams and synergies we can build, and that's kind of what the the highlight of this video will be. So, as I, I mentioned earlier, New Avengers and Rebirth uh, are confirmed officially in the blog post, as well as announcements. Uh, what has been data mined are nodes relating to city villain characters, Global Blaster as well as tech and hero characters. Now, the hero one, uh, it was kind of mixed in with the global blaster, so it could just be um, the three. It could just be the three, um, which are city villain, global blaster, and tech. As for the hero, it could have just been that miss, uh, the mistype or, or next to a lower difficulty one, such as hero blaster and global blaster. Uh, so I'm just gonna leave this open. It doesn't matter because both tech and hero, um, many folks likely won't have issues with. It, it's really the city villain and the global blaster traits that we should be talking about, just because those two categories are likely gonna be the bottleneck of you pushing higher uh and as well like i said guys um new avengers and rebirth uh you're gonna need be me making sure that you have both teams built up if you want to go beyond 
difficulty seven. So that's difficulty eight and above both these teams. Otherwise, uh, if you're doing difficulty seven or lower, you only have to have either the new Avengers or Rebirth uh, built up. And again, like I said, that's why I, I, lo I love this reference because it means that if you are got if you're only planning to push one team, you likely only will you can follow these references for for gear tier upgrades, and it'll likely get the job done. Now that the context is out of the way, we can actually take a look here at the city villain trait character. So um, I had a chance to review guys and it really does seem like, you know, they're pushing us towards obviously investing in both the Sinister Six and Superior Six characters, especially given the rework and stat updates. Uh, this really does make sense, but there's some really, really strong options. Um, Black Cat is without a doubt the best character of this mix. It's a darn shame that her event did not come a second time around before this because I feel like, you know, this is a is going to be an MVP of these nodes, especially with her likely uh, being prominent and uh, an instant lock for Dark Dimension 6 as well. Many folks will have her built up if you guys are already planning to go through Dark Dimension 6 or already engaged. I think another instant lock is actually Dr. Octopus just because, like I said, the Superior 6, Sinister 6 rework, um, he's now adding an immense value in Dark Dimension and uh, him having the upgrades with his respective teams, they're going to be the new war meta team. So uh, it really does make sense. He also provides a boatload of support and benefits for the team, right? After that fact, um, it's really uh, going through the list and deciding which Sinister Six, Superior Six characters you want to build. And, and keep in mind, guys, uh, Craven the Hunter is right now available in the orbs right now for Power Cores. His release this week. So, I mean, um, likely folks may have already have unlocked him. Unfortunately, he is a 100 shard drop. So, I mean, it's going to take some time with the orbs. But if you have him unlocked, I think he's going to be an instant lock with Dr. Octopus because that gives you two Superior Six, which means you can round out the rest of the team with two other Sinister Six characters. Other options, um, I think Kingpin and Mr. Negative could definitely be options. Uh, keep in mind though, with this team respectively, uh, they do usually uh, need to have Taskmaster to shine. Um, obviously I haven't built up Underworld, but I definitely can see their value. Um, some folks built them up for Dark Dimension, so they can definitely be viable options. And with this um, legendary event, it has been confirmed as well that the war buffs will be activated for these characters. So um, more respectively, these characters are gonna get some buffs, uh, obviously from the war bonuses that they will receive, but the same can also be said for Sinister Six. Outside of those uh, mixture guys, to be quite honest, um, I don't recommend the symbiotes just because they've fallen out of the meta. And honestly, everything else afterwards outside of Green Goblin Classic is pretty trash. So um, I think what's cool about this city villain trait that we'll have is if you can unlock Green Goblin immediately, uh, you can likely bring him back in for another run of the uh, the Pact or Legendary Scourge event. And um, you can likely use him to push even higher. So something to be mindful of, get his unlock, maybe build him up, and then you can bring him back in for obviously having better synergy. And guess what? Uh, Green Goblin Classic counts as the second Superior Six. So then you can have more synergies with any of these Sinister Six characters because many of their passives, for example, like Vulture, uh, he's likely going to be the one I'm bringing in. His Scavenger passive here, right? Um, a lot of these benefits only... Um, you know, surface after you have two or more superior six. So as you can see, uh, he's going to be applying speed up to himself and all Sinister Six. On offense, he's clearing speed up uh, as well as applying slow. Um, they're getting these benefits if they have superior six on the team. Vulture's a really good one. I've always liked this kit and I like his uh, his turn meter rewind, right? And other than that, I think I don't think you can honestly go wrong uh, with many of these Sinister Six characters. Uh, but just for those of you that are interested, um, I'm feeling like I'm going to be building Vulture, Mysterio, and then possibly Electro or Swarm. Um, reason being is because I'm still kind of just researching and analyzing which team synergies I want to utilize. But if you guys recall from a past video too, um, here is the stat table that I actually uh, previously made and, and I went through it as well. But like uh, it gives you a sense of kind of holistically, you know, what you want to be going for in terms of where they sit with each other, right? And obviously many of them having really good, strong HP damage armor. It really depends on what you want. This is a speedy team as well. So um, you want to factor that in. But I think at the end of the day, um, there's not really wrong options for this. It's just making sure that you guys build these characters up uh, City of Villains is going to truly shine with the Sinister Six team. Um, plus Black Cat, I think, is going to absolutely tear it apart. So that's just my feedback, guys. I, that's my game plan. I'm probably going to build up the Sinister Six um, to at least gear tier 15, I think, is a safe mark. And then we'll adjust accordingly if they're not good enough. Um, but I think that's a reasonable amount of investment for the time being, especially knowing that, um, you know, they're going to be the future war meta. 
Next up, I think Global Blaster is definitely going to be another area where there's going to be a bit more, you know, theory crafting and thinking about what you want to do. But thankfully, there are some really strong notable additions that we are aware of, right? Uh, Gambit, Archangel are definitely two of the best in this mix, um, just with them being respective, uh, you know, horseman teams, but them being the better members of their respective teams as well. So I think Instant Locks, uh, Gambit has the ability block, Archangel providing offense up, he can uh, generate energy for the team, has a very powerful ultimate ability, hits like a truck uh and then you can round out the rest of the team with other horseman characters like you know both sunfire and as well as phantom x being part of that unlimited x-men team they're gonna have synergy with gambit so that could be a, a combination there as well um i really like ultron just because um not only do you need the masters of evil for uh black cats uh, uh excuse me for nova's uh unlock there uh, using them as a team but as well you can build them up um potentially to have that supportive capability when he summons his ultron bots and and be able to provide those supportive capabilities right uh, we do have members here of rebirth uh you know including you know winter soldier agent venom uh, so these characters likely will be built up if you are planning to bring in Rebirth. If not, um, you know, New Avengers are definitely, uh, you know, not, I don't think they're listed here as well. Yeah, so none of them are available. But if you have Rebirth, um, you know, that's going to be able to allow you to double dip. We also have a couple of invaders here. So if you're working through incursion rates, Union Jack and as well as Bucky Barnes are here. But uh, to be quite honest, I mean, they really do shine with the other members, including Iron Fist and Captain America. So uh, they're going to be kind of a, a wait and see approach, in my honest opinion. Um, something else that's a that's a potential combo is uh, we saw that Swarm was listed as a, as a city villain uh, in that trade specifically. So if you guys are bu building up your infestation team, um, he could be a viable option for that trait. And then conversely, Yellow Jacket is available here as well for infestation. So, I mean, if you build that up, I mean, my goodness, you're a basically building up the other members here of uh, obviously the infestation naturally and that could be definitely some possible options um those are definitely some of the ones i see uh i don't know like pegasus to be honest shines as a whole um dark hawk by himself isn't that great uh he really does shine with the rest of the team and other than that it really falls off so other than that guys those are the two problematic traits i feel um and obviously the last one that was confirmed uh, by the data mines is tech and i don't want to spend too much time on this just because i think tech is going to be a cakewalk um many folks likely will have kestrel kang uh big time spider-man built up uh, dr doom is in here we got doc ock again ultron uh and as well if you are able to build up mysterio or vulture shocker um you know jet yellow jacket as well from the other traits you're going to be able to get a lot of love from them we have the full-on bionic avengers we got the full-on pegasus so i don't think this is such a broad bracket of of traits maybe tech gets you know um uh, isolated a little bit more into another detail but that's kind of what they, we saw in the data mine so we'll see if that changes but otherwise if it's just tech as a whole uh you guys are going to blow right through it so yeah uh there you guys have it i hope this helps you guys uh prepare for uh obviously the upcoming event and hopefully my references here and my stats help you guys decide but at the end of the day um you know i think building a team uh to 800k uh roughly with all the different nodes are able to get able to get difficulty seven completed i'm gonna make sure i make videos on the night of just because i'll be preparing and making sure uh, i have guides ready to go uh, especially typically what we've seen with these events is they last for about a week to 10 days so we'll definitely see how this goes thank you as always uh good luck in your guys preparation and i'll catch you guys in the next one